Здравствуйте, друзья! Это Амстердам, столица Нидерландов. И сегодня речь о голландском кикбоксинге. When I was junior, and uh, totally more than 20 times, I became champion of Netherlands in wrestling. In 1985, my father started the gym, this gym, Cops Gym. So uh, this year we we celebrated. We uh, we already 33 years we exist that long, and uh, in this gym uh, we do kickboxing, Muay Thai, we do boxing. We do wrestling, of course, but we do also MMA. We have very good MMA fighter, Gegard Musashi. He's a world-famous fighter and a world-class athlete. When I was a young boy, 15 years, the Dutch kickboxing was very famous already in Holland with stars like Robbie Kaaman, uh, Jim Foss Jim, Chakuriki Jim, Majiro Jim. And we had very good fighters in that days. And uh, so I don't know better the Dutch style. Yeah, so nowadays you see in the kickboxing world, in uh, everywhere, they have the same style. They, they, they call it the Dutch kickboxing style. In MMA they say it also. But uh, you have, of course, the Thai style. It's uh, with knees, elbows, clinching and throwing. And the Dutch kickboxing style is just, it's just different. It's, it's, it's short combinations and then with a low kick or high kick. And it's, it's very simple, but very effective. Yeah? So uh, I don't know better about the Dutch kickboxing style. It's, in my opinion, all the time already, so long as I exist. So uh, that's what I can say about it. Uh, one year ago, something about that, we had a special kickboxing event because of uh, Rico Verhoeven. He's the world champion in the glory, in the heavyweights. And he was challenged by uh, Badr Hari, or, or he challenged Badr Hari, old champion, K1 champion. And uh, so there was a lot of popularity under the people. All, everybody in Holland, he know about this fight and everybody, millions of people were watching the fight. And, Yeah, it was the same as uh, Mayweather against McGregor, and um, yeah, it's a big sensation. And people talk about it and, uh, every day on television. It makes the sport popular. Every fight has its own story, so once you know the story, it's gonna be, gonna be, it's gonna be a lot more interesting. You know, all the ups and downs before the fight, before the, uh, you know, in the training, in the dressing room, after the. After the fight, you know, if you know all the story, then every fight is interesting. You have to fight smart, and that's why they call it, they call it the fight EQ. The fight intelligence, and uh, you have to, yeah, body punches, head punches, you have to, to, to mix it up. You have to mix it up in the right way, and you have to give the power punches at the right moments. So that's called the fight EQ, and that's the most important. And that's also experience. The older you get, the more matches you, you, you fight, the more fight EQ. And one of the most important is so to take as many punches as much. So, yeah, that's more important. If you do the sparring sessions, uh, you, you cannot do everyday hard sparring sessions and to fight for your life because of the injuries. When you are in the clinch and they give you a knee in the rib and you have injury, you cannot fight. So it's very important. You have yeah, different sparring days. We have here also, we do technical sparring. But sometimes we do also a day, we do act real hard sparring, but watch the head, don't kill the guy, just do it technical. That's important. Because of injuries, yeah, we are very uh, aware of that. 
So uh, most of the time, the sparring has to be technical. I think that's the best. You have to be the right mixing, and that to make you champion. If you if you if if you see Gegard Musashi, the Bellator fighter, he's from this gym, and he he can mix it so well. He's a very relaxed person, very relaxed. But when he enters the cage, he's yeah, he's like a, he's, he's a killing machine, you know. He's very boom boom boom. But also not that too aggressive because he's very sportive. That's also very important. You have to be sportive. So when the fighter is down, don't stay, don't keep hammering about this. And that's what he is. Also, fight EQ. Now you have the money fights, and uh, about uh, every fighter starts when he starts his career and he do his beginning fights with a lot of ambition. Everybody wants to be the best in the world and everybody dreaming of a career in the K1 or in UFC or Bellator and etc. But at the end, at the end of the story, there's just a little few fighters who make a lot of money. They make a big lot of money because they are the very best in, in their country, in the division and yeah, it's uh, and then you have also the new phenomenon that is the money fights. And then I'm talking about McGregor against Mayweather. They sell the fight. That's what make that's what make the that's what make you want to look to the fight. And uh, you pay you get what you're paying for. Also. Simple. Look, if you want to have a boxing match, you should watch two good boxers box. And now you're watching uh, McGregor. Who is not a boxer, fighting a boxer, the best ever. So, what do you expect? Only thing you can say is that the Gregor did very well. And you see, they spoil for everybody, because everybody, that, every champion wants to have a title and money fight. So that they challenge the, the champ of the other division, of the other federation. And yeah, everybody wants to make a lot of money and... Uh, uh, the money fight not good, but I'm. My opinion is the, the the top fighters in the in the world they have to pay very well, and the top ten in every division they have to pay very well because you have to do a lot about it. You have to train every day. You have to suffer. You have to sacrifice, and uh, it's very tough. Fighting fighting rules is very tough, and uh, so they deserve a lot of money. The same as the, the soccer players and uh, the tennis players. The top, the top fighters, they deserve a lot of money. That's my opinion. Yeah. Everybody who is doing the same thing you are is uh, is an opponent, not a friend. And once they come become your friend, that means you cannot fight them anymore. And when you cannot fight them anymore, you, you miss out on the money. So. The best thing is not being the friend, because otherwise you cannot make any money anymore. That's my opinion, and I feel strongly about it. You know, you can talk with, with guys, but don't be too friendly. You know, remember, you're in there for, for the money at, at the end. And if you want to make money, you cannot be friendly to everybody. That's the thing. Talent is so important. It, it, it gives you... Uh, it's very important and uh, you have very talented fighters, but I tell you, the, the fighters are less talented than the talent one. And you work hard, it's, it's, it's a question of hard working, hard working, hard working. And at the end, the fighter who works hard, the, the, the fighter will win. And uh, okay, the talented guy, you have, to fight, you have to train less than the other in the beginning. And because of his talent, because he's more talented, he's keeping winning, but when he come in a higher level, then the, the fighter who worked hard is the best fighter. So that's very important. Hard working, 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 grinding, embrace the grinds. Well, talent helps, but hard work, hard work beats talent if talent doesn't work hard. So you have to have talent and start working hard 
But if you can only, if you only work hard, it's also a kind of a talent. You'll be able for so it's a little bit mixed around each other, I think. Be all you can be. If your if your best is, you know, fulfilling the spawning every Thursday, if that's your that's your thing, then do this. You know, if your uh, your uh, uh, your your ceiling is uh, fighting one fight, you know, somewhere on the show. If that's your ceiling, then that that's that. But try to be the best you you can be. So you know, if you try to be the best every day, you will get better step by step. Even if if it's not as hard as uh, if it's not if you, even though you don't go as forward as other people think or do or know, you know, as long as you keep going forward, that's enough. And some people can be world champion, some people cannot. But for some people, the the achievement of making it through the Spanish Sessi is harder than for other people to become champions. You know, because they need to come from so far away. So, that's an... Uh, that's a, a lifetime achievement, I think. You know? So you have to always try to be the best you can be. And then all will be good. I'm proud of all my fighters. Uh, I'm proud of all my students, everybody who's a member of the Mike's gym. Because they make... Because of them I can do the living I... To live the life I live. They'll make me happy. They make me wake up every day. And they are the ones, you know, who believe in me. So even though you're... Uh, you're... Uh, an, uh, an old guy who's training two times in the morning or your uh, your little girl who's in the in the youth group or whoever member even though you're a fitness member I'm very proud of them I'm proud to call them a Maxi member that's what matters to me okay that's a story about my about me